Hey everyone, welcome to the Remote Professional Network. We are an online job board highlighting remote and work from home jobs all around the globe as well as hybrid jobs. Today we are going to go ahead and cover four new job openings. The first one is going to be a remote benefits coordinator. This is going to pay about $22 to $24 per hour. If you're looking to break into the human resources arena, definitely this is going to be the job for you. This company is Vaco. They are a staffing company, so they're going to connect you with another company to actually employ you, okay? So it's basically contract work. You will get benefits through Vaco, possibly, so definitely look into that. And they do want you to be working remote in the state of Florida. So definitely keep note of that. There are quite a few requirements for this position, so we will let you guys go through this one specifically. All right, so we can see here just some of the things that they're requiring. They want you to support compliance and cost-effective benefit programs, monitor performance and facilities, strong collaborative associations with third-party admins, responsible for providing benefit programs to the organization. So essentially, in this position, guys, you're going to be working in human resources, and you're going to be working with all the benefits that employees receive. So you're going to be basically a subject matter expert in the actual benefits that the workers are receiving so great experience this would probably be considered an associate level position it looks like they were looking for two years experience so if you have any hr experience this will be a great job for you again the position is going to be staffed through vaco but this is a full-time job and they usually do offer the staffing companies usually offer full benefits as well okay so if you're looking for a job with full benefits this one's for you Moving on, we have a full-time customer advocacy position with CareCentrics. CareCentrics is also offering a $1,000 sign-on bonus. So if you get the job, and typically you have to stay there for, I believe, about 90 days, you will get a $1,000 bonus. Anyone in the United States is eligible for this position. There are no restrictions on the states that you can work from. So if you're looking for a work from home job inside the United States, this one is going to be for you. This position is going to pay 18 to $24 per hour. They are looking for a customer advocacy specialist incumbent service as critical subject matter expert role and driving resolution for internal or external issues or complaints. So they are looking for someone to really be a specialist in this position. If you're more so on the entry level side, you can probably expect about $18 per hour. And if you have more experience, you can probably expect about $24 per hour, okay? Definitely keep in mind that your location inside the United States will probably impact your hourly wage as well. So keep that in mind. If you apply to this job and get it, you should probably wind up probably between $20 to $22 per hour. Again, unless you have no experience at all or you have a lot of experience that'll definitely impact the pay range that you can expect. Okay, in this role, you're gonna be the main point of contact for escalated calls and requests. You're going to monitor and complete production as applicable, manage payer, provider, and patient complaint resolution, and so on. So this is a little bit higher, higher level customer service. If you have previous experience, guys, you don't keep in mind these these job posts are wish lists, right? They're they're not expecting to get you know, applicants with every single thing checked off. So if you just have experience, make sure that in your resume, you make it look like it's transferable, right? All your skills are transferable skills. If you didn't work in a position exactly like this, but you know, you're pretty experienced in operations, customer service, and things like that, you are going to be eligible for this position. Okay. So we, we can see here, they want a high school diploma, three years of experience in operations and production support role, Basic computer skills with data entry and speed accuracy is required. Knowledge of department systems and processes and et cetera, right? So if you knock off about two two or three out of the four of the qualifications in this you know, list, I would send an application. And we can see here they want three years of experience in operations or support role. So if you have experience, guys, in customer service or anything else, I would consider that a qualification right? Operations is a pretty broad term in terms of, and, and, and as far as we can see here, they don't really define it. So definitely if you have any experience in a support role, customer service, sales support, anything like that, you're going to qualify 
and another thing that you can do to help them out as well, which will definitely boost you in your application. As we can see here, they want to see basic computer skills and data entry speed. So what I would say to do with this one is Google a keyboard typing test, right? And we should get a bunch of tests that pop up that track the speed of your typing. Take the first couple, do it a couple times, try to get to 50 to 60 words per minute is typically what data entry jobs are looking for. And then include that in your resume too. I would be willing to guarantee that almost nobody is going to include that in, your, in their resume. So definitely you can prove right up front that you can hit one of the metrics that they're going to have for this position. And then the other ones are pretty basic um, as well, right? They're not going to acknowledge the department systems and processes. Most people aren't going to know that. So definitely feel free to still apply to this position. And the good thing will be too, is if you apply and you hit that $18 per hour, you can see already what they're going to be offering experienced folks. So eventually further along in your career, you'll hit that $24 per hour. All right. The second position we have here is going to be a remote customer service representative with Aston Carter. Aston Carter is a very, very large staffing company. Um, they work with lots of big companies, guys, so they can have some really good opportunities. This one is going to be for United States residents. It's going to be a full-time remote job, and it's going to pay $16 to $17 per hour. Definitely note, this is going to be only for folks that live in Arizona, Nebraska, or Washington State only. Okay, so this is going to be a customer service representative position. The start date is going to be September 5th. Again, the pay range is about $16 to $17 per hour. This is a contract to hire. So basically, you have six months. If you perform well, they are going to hire you on at the end. And the schedule is going to be Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And they are looking for someone who can commit to 40 hours per week. And again, this is pretty much just the, the requirements as far as what you're going to be doing. It's pretty much just basic customer service related skills, right? Answer the incoming phone calls, initiate outbound calls to customers if needed, and all the soft skills here, right? We can see also perform all data entry needed to keep customer accounts current and accurate. All right. Also note to you guys, if you wind up, you know, going through a staffing company, and you are not and you are not offered a job at the end from the company that is using you. As long as you do a great job, Aston Carter will most likely find you another position before this one runs out too. So if you just do a good job in these roles, you're you're going to get rewarded either way. And we can see here too. Feel free to send, you know, click the apply for this position or you can just send a resume straight to the recruiter's email address. This is very common, especially in Aston Carter. Almost all their job postings show this, okay? The next opportunity we have is going to be a data entry position. This is going to be a catalog auditor, 20 hours per week. This is going to be a fully remote job and there is no interview required. That is what is being reported. So again, this is going to be for United States residents only. This is a fully remote job. This will pay about $22 per hour. This is going to be a part-time position. There is no phone work. You're going to be responsible for catalog audits. You're going to be checking names, picture, taxonomy for convenience and grocery store SKUs. You're going to research and write descriptions for the SKUs and you will, you will creatively problem solve to find and append UPC codes for SKUs. If you don't know what any of that means, again, most people probably don't. Do a quick Google so that you can know what you're speaking about when you get to the interview. And beyond that, they will teach you what you need to do in this position as well. So the skills they're looking for are just going to be your basic Excel, Google Sheets, reporting, data entry. So if you have those skills, make sure again in your resume, you list these out and show examples of how you've used them. So for example, if you were, if you created a project and led a team, you know, and you used, you know, Microsoft Excel to report all your data and findings from your experiment. Put that in your resume so that you, they can see how you actually used it as well. And same for Google Sheets and any other data entry software that you use, you know, Smartsheet, etc. And that's it for today, guys. Again, this is going to, we went over four jobs today. So check the chapters, find the job that best fits you. 
If you didn't see anything that you like, head to remoteprofessionalnetwork.com. We have many other job openings as well. We'll see you next time.